Hey guys, welcome back. Well, you're right where you left me pretty much. I think I might walk two steps. Um, we're getting ready to go down the rope here and, and check out the, looks like the town, I guess. Um, yeah, hit the subscribe, hit like. If you like what you've seen so far, I got an interloper series I'm doing too. And um, I'm doing a Mars Horizon series. So if you like what you see, I'd appreciate a subscribe and a like. We're getting ready to go down there and check out what that's all about. And I guess I should take a look to see, make sure there's no animals. I'm going to use my last piece of charcoal here, I think. I can, there it is. And survey this area right now. Yep, and there we go. We got all kinds of sticks there, and almost, there's the gold mine. So we'll head down to there and head to the gold mine and see what's up. Hot will let me. I thought I could say that. I need to drop two pounds. Where can I drop two pounds from? I'll drop you. I got plenty of them. Look at all the matches. Man, they just pour the matches on you. Let me eat some here. Yeah, that'll help draw me some weight. Do that and take a drink and that should get me to where I need to be. Nope, still not. Two more don't should do it. Alright. Now we're going. Since we're going down, we don't need to stop. I get down at the bottom of this and hit up a shot of coffee. I could use some deer or something here. I could use some food. I don't have all those cattails, but like I said, I get paranoid. All right. Go ahead and hit a shot of coffee. There we go. It's picking up. Storm. And I tell you what, this, this environment is rich with a lot of um, resources. I mean, if you start here and you can get a indoor shelter, you've got access to all the things you need for a bow and everything. Let's go in the mine. All right, well, let's get out a torch. Thank you. 
cool. Look at that. More matches. Who'd have thought? Wonder if this is any good to eat. Good food. Jerry can. Field dressing. I already got that maxed. Cold galore. So we can stay here. Go explore. Whoa! Oh, it's ice cold water, I bet. What's that due to your shoes? It makes your shit wet. The stuff wet, sorry. do that too many times. That's a neat little ad there. There's, you gotta take the boots off. I didn't even think of that. Thought about it for a waterfall, but didn't think about it for for this. Yep, take them boots off. Don't get them wet. I got it. Oh, look at this. Someone made a bed. You got a bench here and everything. And there's that backpack. And there's a dead guy with a face. This will come in handy. Yes, it will. Look at that. Uh, improvised hatchet. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. We're working on it, buddy. How do these work? Nope, might as well grab the back of the backpack too and see how it all works, huh? They stir your backpack with all the bells and whistles so you can carry more gear before becoming encumbered. Glad I had my good pack with me on this trip. Some chest pain on the trek past the high falls, but I expected that after the last surgery. Just going to hunker down in here until the storm passes. Tomorrow, high point at Wolf's Jaw, then head for home. All right, let's see how this works. So, the moose satchel weighs half a pound and buys you 11 pounds of stuff. That's not an option. Traction for your feet. Rope climbing drains less stamina. Sprains are less frequent and you can travel with more confidence over weak ice. So it's almost like you'd want to do it there. Where's the backpack at? Oh, 
you just get the backpack. Yep, you just get the backpack. You just have it. Awesome. So they don't even make you wear it. I'm still not encumbered with it, but <laughs> that's because I'm in an exhibition park, though. Could end up being useful. Huh. Wow, that's some good gear there. Especially that exhibition backpack. Holy cow. That they don't make you wear, it's awesome. I'm replenishing my rifle cartridges too, so that's cool. Shit. You know what? I gotta go back down. This is my only torch. If this goes out, I'll be in the dark. <laughs> so I gotta go back and make a couple torches. Plus my sleeping bag's down there too. Well, that right there will make it worth coming here on Interloper. On any level, actually, just to get the extra weight. And that they don't penalize you for it by making you use a slot is just even ten times better. I mean... Oops. No, I got. Take that. There we go. Now I'll start fire. I know I got 20 million matches, but... If I don't stay and practice doing this, then when I do my interloper run, I'll, <laughs> I'll do something crazy. That did it. All right, let's try to get organized here. That needs to be harvested. That needs to be harvested. God, I wish I would have brought my bow and arrows. Because I thought. Let's see here. Make myself a. Need one of those. I can make two. I'll do two. I can do three. Holy oh, cow. Yeah. Well, we don't need three. It was good enough. Go back and get my bedroll and sleep through the night, and then head up. Okay. That's what I'm thinking about doing. So I got a bed here I can sleep in. So this is why I hate leaving my bedroll. Darn it. Alright girl, I know better than to leave you. I don't know why I keep doing it. I'm 
All right, so we'll get back. We'll stay the night in that little shelter, and then we'll head up that little ramp. Hopefully there's an exit somewhere up, up there. If not, and then we'll come back down, and we'll head out down the little creek. matches. That's unreal. That's all here almost. I can't make arrows. I mean, I can't make arrows anyway, so it doesn't matter. I used a whetstone now, and then Just better the axe or the improvised, or the hatchet or the improvised hatchet. Yeah, we're gonna stick with what we got. Get all that sharp enough. Okay, now that's done, so we can drop that. in the morning and well, water. Drop some there. That helps. Oh, that parka too. An extra three pounds. for nine hours. Sleep for nine and then we'll find up a torch and we'll head up. See what we're coming to. Spraying heal. Also, well, actually I'd like to, there, ah, nope, there we go. Drink one of them waters. All right. It's spray cans a pound. Hmm. Yeah, 
got that one. I think we're good. All right. We'll harvest that one. And we'll do some night walk, some night travel in a cave. Let's see where this goes. Just making sure I got that. this isn't a horror game or I'd have been out by now. I tried to play um, the forest. Man, the caves just scared the bejesus out of me. And I didn't even see any of the real freaky ones. I just seen the regular cannibals. Well, so far I would say this hasn't been ungodly difficult like the timber wolves I mean they're just the scourge of the earth but um, you know you can get here on an interloper run I think pretty easy and be able to get to that tactical backpack and those cleats I mean Trying to think that you would have to at least deal with at least probably two wolves there by the angler's hut before you got to the waterfall. But then once you got up on the waterfall, you did have the two, the wolf there, 